All right, let's just get right into it. We're up against Urgot Top. They have a pretty nice team in terms of just variety. But if the Udyr gets further on our team, or if I get further on our team, then we should be able to get a lot done with the Zillion right here. Oh. Um, you got stacks before the game even started. <laughs> Man, that's a life hack and a half. Wait, so if he just, like, lands it on an ally, does it stack? Jesus. <laughs> that's just a secret technology right there. Okay, um... There's not too much to think about in the matchup. You essentially have to just watch out for Urgot's flip. Because that flip can really mess you up. If Urgot lands, like, most of his shotgun knees on you, and he, like, he lands, like, two, and then he flips you and lands the other ones, you can just get one shot by him. So that's the thing you're watching out for for most of the lane. Right? Avoiding the shotgun knees, and he's, he sets those up, and it sets up his uh, ultimate. And if you get hit by his, both his E and his ultimate, you basically just insta-die. So avoiding that is priority number one. Gonna chill here, I don't wanna get hit by that shotgun knee for no reason. Go for Q here. Mostly because if he shoots back, he doesn't get the shotgun knee. We're just trying to avoid it, right? It's just unnecessary damage. Ah, that's bad. Okay. Okay. Once we hit level 3, we can go for an all in and just kill him. <clears throat> Shock goes mid. Let's get his minions. Oof. Yeah. As you can see, like the whole time we're avoiding the shotgun knee, but the one time we actually got it on us, the damage is actually a bit substantial. Okay. Now we basically have to put the lane in a position where we can just straight kill him with Ghost. Or at least get his flash. Not the worst trade in the world, honestly. But if we land that, we can go for an all-in. Hmm. Why is he walking up like that? I'm gonna chill for a bit. I think Shock was around. Didn't quite track him after he got done with that mid gank. Okay. Let's see if we can slow this push down. Now that we do, you can just kill him. Let's crash this bad boy in. And there we go. Um, He's just holding it, whatever. In hindsight, it was not the best idea to shove that. I just thought we could get it with the Udyr's AoE before it crashed, but not quite. It's fine. Um, we're going to lose this whole wave here, which sucks. The thing is, I kind of want the Udyr to get all that those creeps, because the thing is, right, he is like a big win condition for us. If he can get like a massive lead over the Shaco and also everybody, then he can... Practically just 1v9. And also, I can kind of just solo this guy. I don't need too much to get going. Okay. Let's try to go for like a... Contest here so we get this thing pushed in. That's most of his health going, which is perfect. Um, pretty sure he has to just recall at this point. <laughs> if I land a hook, he's just dead. Freedom in the carnage. 
He's a little six, never mind. Gotta be real careful, because you can just E flash into me. Chuck his bot lane. Ah, uh, if I land that, he's insta dead there. Even if he like cancels it with his dash, because I can just, you know, <laughs> auto ult. That was really unfortunate. I'm gonna go into the river. That XP lead he has is kind of bad to tie, like, kind of tough to fight. But yeah, we really messed that kill up there. That was good for a hook. I knew I wasn't like in hook range, but like he was just about to come out of the stun, so I had to hook. I gotta chill, man, because I'm not landing anything. Let's recall, spend all this gold. In terms of their team, we are Lucian's getting fed, so I might have to go for Tobbies. They don't have a lot of like. Cancelable CC anyway. Like, doesn't do anything as Urgot's flip, Azir's ultimate, Nami's both of like her bubble and her ultimate. The only thing that gets reduced, I guess, is Shaco's fear from his boxes and his ult. I'm not sure how, like, how much we can count on that, you know? Okay, we should be able to kill him here. Got a good lane, got ghost. He just dies to bleed. A little anticlimactic. Yeah. Let's crash this baby in. And we call. Shaka can kill me with his ult and ignite, but if he doesn't use both, I might be able to survive and beat him. Okay, let's get some more stats. I have flash up in a bit. Like, his flash was gone, like, a bit later than mine, so I have, like, a solid minute or so when I can kill him. Okay, he cleared that quickly. Yeesh. I'll try to clear this and just walk up on him in the river. Oof. Let's get this place warded out. A control ward for me? Thing is, if I fight him, he probably kills me because I don't have ult, whereas he he like kept his. So I kind of want to wait for my own ult before I engage.
Gotta be ca very careful to not get flipped under turret here. I know I could kill one of the W there, so it didn't really matter that the turret would put me under the old threshold. Okay, let's back. Whoa! What? Um. All right. Gonna go try for a serious second one shot people. This is the kind of match where they have like so much just trickiness that I'd be more comfortable just doing more damage straight up and one shotting them the few opportunities that I do get to fight them. Like during my hook and stuff like that. These kinds of small windows for kills. Now, I don't actually know if the Udyr can solo him. He should be able to. That was not a good use of our, like the thing. One more attack, one more attack. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I see you, I see you. My only fear is that if their backlane does enough damage to just pop me, I'm not sure if it matters that I'm fed or not. Ooh, they got me turret. Not good. Okay, we got Triforce money. Couldn't go get it. Obviously, like, I just came to lane, farmed, and left. So it's not the best sort of recall timing. But the power spike of Triforce is so great that, like, once I get it, I'll probably just remain on it for, like, a while, you know? So I don't mind losing out a few CS here. Shock is just being ignored in top lane for like the whole match. Let's crash this baby in. I low-key ulted for the, <laughs> the Sheen <laughs> auto attack. Is that an ace? Man. Nice. They actually slaughter them down there. Perfect. The magic touch. Turrets disappear. You can have that. I'll leave it alone, honestly. Don't want to over-greed for practically nothing. The Herald should be free. If I see I have too much free time to do nothing, I'll just take it myself. The thing about Herald is that, like, it used to be not so worth it to take it solo as a top laner, but because it gives golden XP, right? If you have nothing left to farm, it can be quite huge. I'm not really getting too much use out of my CC anyway, so it's like... Okay, now I see why he bought. <laughs> now I see why he bought <laughs> the Prowlish Claw. He just ran up on her, jeez. And we lost the Drake too. Ugh. Okay, let's push this to the T2. Get the Herald, then help bust down mid lane. in here to see if we can help. Oh my god! 
my god like i have i've gone on killing sprees with my ult and stuff but i rarely manhandle teams like that on my own but i got the zillion there too like I, that wouldn't be possible without the zillion but jesus christ <laughs> dude i just shoot up like <laughs> oh my god that was amazing amazing all right we gotta get some more actually i'll just sell my d shielding at mr Oof. Best part, the Urgot got my bounty. Not the Lucian, not the Azir. This dude. So yeah, we're we're chilling. We're chilling. Oof. Oof. Man, that's such a hype moment, honestly. That Q on the Azir too, like switching up the focus, right? You thought I was hitting her. Nah, -uh. you're next, bro. You thought I'd be satisfied with just. Three kills. Mm -mm. I can count higher than that, bro. Let's see if he can. Oh, uh, never mind. He's worried out. I want to see if I could cheese kill him. Mm. Who's even up here? Shaco and the uh, Urgot. I can kill the ghost. It's just Urgot, yeah. I have all the top side camps that Shaco has. Okay, no, 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 I think I'm done, I think I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's run, buddy. All right, they didn't get us, they didn't get us. Bro, I got out there, like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Urga actually ulted us just as we killed him, so that was like a weird interaction. That whole situation was just messed up. That's the real one. Bro, you're not me. Don't go for that. That's like... That right there is probably one of the reasons why you go like, uh, like you want to go for more tank stats on Udyr because he's like kind of slow. You want the ability to just last for a long time in fights, not just like go in, kill one person and die. Oof. I'm going to chill bot side for a second here. Apply some pressure here. Mostly because the uh, dragon's about to spawn and I don't want to give that up easily. They have to TP for top, so like it's not too bad to leave it like that. Alright, now we gotta be real careful because there's nothing else for the enemy team to do except match me. So I'm like prime target number one. I guess prime target number one is like a. Like I just said that, you know? Okay. Like I'm not matching this guy. Can't reach him. I'm not wasting the sums to do so. My sums are way too important. Also, no mantle seems to be like quite good, right? It's up next in the shopping list. I mean, not no mantle. Um, force of nature. Oh, actually, doing it. Yo, ooh dear. All right, they got it. Ugh. They're all here too. We, we're going to teleport here. While they're chasing, I'll actually push this wave out to T2. Honestly, not the worst thing in the world for me to not go for that fight. Because I don't have summons, right? So I'm definitely going to die. <clears throat> so I got to get that on its own. I have nothing to like recall to. So I'm just going to chill. Did I kill that? Screw 
Yeah, that build is really trolled by the Udyr. Like, it does nothing for him. Like, all he does with that is just kill Nami. Oh. Where did the ward go? Oh, she was killed already. Yeah. It's like the thing activated. I'm like, ain't a ward supposed to pop up? Okay, we have both sums. Let's go back and buy the Spectrous Cowl. Then go back topside because this guy can't hold it. Let's go. Got sums now. Ready to fight. This is going to Death Stance. BT dubs. I'd love to go for like these minions, but I'd rather walk a path like this in case they get into a fight so I can actually respond. Like that? Okay, that was a free, free, free pick on the... That was kind of horrible. Only one kill. That was kind of chill from me. Uh, I can't get to their backline, man. They're too out of reach. I low-key play that horribly, though. Like, just got disoriented by how messed up that fight was. I think I should go like Sweeper for the Shaco. So we can better like keep track of him. Another bad thing about the fight was that like, I, I went crazy after the Zillion had ulted. So it's like at that point it's just kinda, you know. <laughs> Not supposed to fight anymore. Mm. I was gonna go Blue Ward, but nah. Sleeper's better for me to go for flanks and stuff. <clears throat> I gotta stop another fight, because if I die again, then that's basically it for me and like my fedness, if that makes sense. If he else wants that, okay. Can get some picks there. I thought that was Xin Zhao. <laughs> the way he spotted in like the thing. Okay, we gotta go up here. Stop this guy from dying. That's another one. Okay, we get the Baron here. We have with your allies with us, we have the smite. Eh, it's just Nami, she can't steal it from us. Good. <clears throat> I kinda wanna get this turret too. Can I? Yup. <clears throat> hmm. I'm gonna stop watch actually. I'm gonna build GA this game because I'm the main carry, right? So I can work with a zillion better. Ah, almost. That was good. Can we just run to the zillion street? Does he live here? No, he doesn't. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can't, we can't, we can't. <coughs> They're too, like, they got a pretty good position to fight out there, fight from there, so. Actually, ah, uh, I should just. If I just did stop watch there, that would have maybe been worth worth it. Ugh. The thing that's just so annoying is that no matter how much I've killed this Urgot, he's still just a chunk of meat that I can't one shot. So it kind of works as like a perfect front line for them. Just so annoying. Ugh, whatever. Yeah, I'm going for GA instead of Spirusage. Like, it's way more impactful. I gotta just knock over Cheese like that, because it'll just send the Urgot in first, right? Then he goes for his E that I can't dodge. In such a tight space, and it's just over from there. Let's see if I can get my little 16. That could be pretty huge. Nice! Okay, he just one-tapped him. Um, he, he dies. That sucks. At least he gets a one-tap. Yeah, yeah. Chaco did half my health with just this clone. <laughs> what? We must escape this prison of peace. The wave quick and recall. Endless conflict lies. You made your choice. Okay, we're pretty well farmed up, so maybe, like, I got a lot of gold, but I got nothing else to buy, so maybe I have to buy service instead of GA. <clears throat> Haven't got a single healing thing from Death Dance, actually. Man, okay, this guy can just destroy people who are side leading, so that's good, right? <sighs> I'll go for the soul. Kind of here alone. Never mind. Got the whole team here. I'm gonna switch to Blue Ward. Okay. Put that on two, that's my action key. I don't want to click on it to move it because it might just activate it. GA. <laughs> you know how League is sometimes. Just fighting against you. Computer game, why would you do this to me? This power was meant to destroy. Let's get that actually. Oh, he just insta went in. Let's go. Okay. I got Thunder. I got a reset. I don't want to engage, because, like, I could engage and go stopwatch, but I don't get much out of that. Sir God's just matching me no matter what. They're actually just going to get the soul, if we let them have it. 
Alright, gotta fight back. Speed me up, bro! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on, ooh dear, set me up. Okay. We actually got a bunch of picks off of them doing Baron there, so that's good. Step in here so they don't kill the team members. Good. Did I even reach? Nope. A little proxy action. Running around with 600 move speed. All right, cool. Well, GG. And that's a game. This is such an awesome match. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next match. Peace out. All right, we're up against Ribbon Top. Classic matchup, Darius versus Riven. Let's see how this one goes. Goat. And they should make her like different animals for every skin. That would be interesting. Like, oh, here's a zebra. Here's a, like an actual goat instead of a deer. Here's a, a an elephant, you know? That'd be funny. Okay. Try to keep her relaxed. Aw. Oh. You ain't getting that, you ain't getting that. <laughs> Good to get that bone plating off. Chillin', chillin', chillin'. Oh, about to hit the kill that minion. Man, try to queue that up for the. What happened to my Q? Um, you guys saw that, right? My Q just disappeared. She leveled up just in time to not get murked. Oh my god! It would have worked if I didn't mess it up! It would have worked! She literally just fell for it. Alright, just kill me at this point. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> End me. End me. Ugh. So disgusted, actually. Right, we gotta recall, because she gets an extra, you know, TP. I'm gonna get another D-Blade. Cause I need the extra meat right now. We kind of messed up so hard that we need the extra stats to win all ins. Thankfully, she can't get too clean of her recall off, so that's good. And she does have her ultimate, not her ultimate, her flash on. So, I gotta be careful of that in the next all in. Okay, clean, clean, clean. Uh, okay, we've reached an equilibrium. 
where the lane's not messed up, hopefully. Alright, she TP'd. Of course, she just got here that fast. Yeah, she just straight up <laughs> murdered me there. Ah! What is happening? Okay, okay, okay. Alright, chill, chill, chill. I kind of just played into all of her damage there without even counterplaying it. Literally just ate every single passive wall attack, so she just killed us. She's two levels ahead, and the lane is going to be quite tough to get a kill out of. But honestly, you know, I've been asked a lot to post matches where I start out from behind, right? <laughs> It's like, logistically, it's like, oh, you want me to int and then try to play the game? It's like, you know. But yeah, that's what we're going to try to do here. We've inted. I was trying to play the game. Pretty gross, but okay. Just let me have that free Q. Okay, I'll take that. I need those Qs. Slow slow push in existence. Are you serious? Please, please. What she's dead? Are you kidding? How'd she die there? Also, that was disgusting. Ugh. They actually had the time to set up that nasty dive there on me. At least we get a kill out of it. We get two kills. Not the most fair trade, quote unquote. But at least it's not the worst thing in the world. Why are you still... Man. That just sucked. Uh, we're even more behind because there's just so much farm we couldn't take because of that Olaf. Disgusting! No mistakes. I'm not even gonna lie. I was switching through skins randomly. And when I saw that I had like Lunar Beast on, I was about to switch off. <sighs> I hate everything about this skin. It's just absolutely disgusting. Every single mechanic is just slower and worse. We did get a kill there using our flash, so that's good. Let's get that much needed ninja tabi. Let's go. Like to steal caps. Never retreat. Okay, there is. Never retreat. We're not doing too badly, I guess. Thing is, like, they have an all off jungle. And, like, if I, like, you know, had a bit more health there, I'd just straight kill him. Because <laughs> of how weak he is right now. So Olaf is just really weak. Yeah, she's just proxying at this point. Not much I can do to stop it.
get away. I'd love to fight her, but I don't have my ult, and she does have hers, so... Get out of here! Get out of here! What you think you're doing here in top lane, boy? Uh, if she had the cooldown on that Q, I would have killed her there, but unfortunately, her champion's too balanced. How sad. At least he got some gold out of it. Or at least I hope so. Ball lane is just absolutely killing it though. Oof, look at them go. Honestly, like... <laughs> To go back a minute when I 2v1 them, I kind of want to see the perspective of the ribbon and just have her watch as I slowly but surely just completely dunk on that Olaf. Like, that Olaf. <laughs> surely he gets it, right? Nope. No! Enemy double kill. Enemy triple kill. How'd she get back in lane this quickly? Wasn't she just mid lane like a second ago? What are you doing? She dies to bleed anyway. I got it, I got it. They have a Talia. Carve up path. Man, I kind of want to just stay in lane and get my Triforce. Get out of my way. These minions are tripping. Up in here. Oh, they're both you have smoked. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate, really. They both got destroyed. Oh my god, that Talia lives with, like, basically no health. Are you kidding me? Also, what? Okay, we got our Triforce here. Let's recall and get it. Let's g g get it. Thank you for one more CS. Hmm. She wants to smoke, I'll stay. Gorgeous. She has a Gorgeous who complete already? Jesus. That was close. Had to pull the old Roku on her. I don't even know what I... <laughs> I did a, yeah, I did an old flash out there, yeah. I don't think that's the Roku combo. Man, I came up with this one combo in my combo video, if like, the three of you who watched that video remember. And like, 
I've only done it like twice, and neither time I thought to like get it on camera, you know, and record it. It's such a rarely, rarely usable combo to begin with. But yeah, check out my Darius combo guide if you wanna unlock the secret mechanics of this champion. Ooh. We're so beefy. Ugh. I'm liking all this beef. Bro, I'm beefy enough to be in a on a, on a never mind. To be dead. Take out the trash, Lulia. <laughs> you know how it is, you need to ping me. It's an obligation. It was an honor. <coughs> Ugh. I hate to do this, but we gotta sell the D blade. Okay, let's walk to the dragon. Man, I'm having a lot more fun. With the recordings ever since i switched up to like the more you know for fun style of doing things so let me know what you guys think because uh going fully instructional all the time is a bit tiring ain't gonna lie seriously because uh that knock forward just got me closer to you That's good top actually. Oh, says going early. Good. Um, I'm gonna go mid and take this mid turret actually while he's matching the the ribbon. I was gonna see Vayne ribbon. Oh, they actually just got murked. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Close to picked it up. Good. Bro, why are they constantly together? This Olaf and Riven. It makes no sense. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Sorry, sorry. Bro! Oh! Alright, alright, alright. He's gonna do it too. Ah! <laughs> Where he's just swagging on him. Okay. Uh, boy was swagging on him. Well, it's the end of your days, mister. Will not be deterred so easily. Oof, okay, let's see what you made of. Are you kidding? Oh my, they got every trick out of the box, man. And the bard was there too. Ah, uh, I absolutely hate this. Ugh. Man, I hate it when players work together to take me down like I'm some boss battle. I'm not a boss battle. I have feelings. But he's about to get destroyed. Nice, alright, alright, alright. He didn't have to do that. Ooh, ka chunk. Homie last hit that ribbon like she was a creep. I don't even know what's going on at this point. Okay, I'm gonna split push bot lane. Bring some balance into my life with that side lane XB. XB. Echoes B. 
But is that how like an Arabic person would say it? With some side lane XB. <laughs> I want this wave, but I don't know about, I know I'm about to get like 77, man. This Talia is the United States Army, and I am wherever they found oil. Stick to walls, bro. Stick to walls. Stick to walls. And you stick to dying. Oh. You stick to dying. Ooh. Let's get this Baron. <laughs> that was merciless. <laughs> Make no mistakes. Just going for a little spirit visage to help me fight off this Talia. Wore off some of her AP damage. All that good stuff. I'd go for Force of Nature, but I kind of want the healing more. The amplification of the Stark Shield more. So, yeah. Man, we're getting some good use out of the Conqueror, right? This match. Like, we're brawling the entire time. So, Conqueror is just actually... There's actually time for Conqueror to stack up and stuff. Also, I am not a fan of how confidently Natalia walked into the Tri-Brush. Something tells me they're kind of grouped up here. I'm gonna place a ward down. Oh, there they are. There they are. Are you serious? Are you serious, the whole team? All right, all right, all right. Oh my God, they actually had the whole team on me. Uh, I should just backed up honestly, but okay. All right, all right, they get the kills, they get the kills, all right. I set it up. I set it up, they knocked them down. I totally didn't just completely grief. <laughs> okay. Get that turret. Yeah. Right click, right click, right click, right click. Actually, get Spear Vistage. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spear Vistage. I almost forgot the name of the item. <laughs> they honestly should have kept the healing of this at 30% because nobody builds it, right? Like, I actually love Spear Vistage, but it's like such a. Like, you kind of have to be fed. But also, like, to the point where the enemy mage isn't doing that much damage to you. And even in that case, you're better off going Force of Nature anyway, right? So I think this item needs to be buffed in terms of its healing, right? So that players have a reason to build it. So Force of Nature. Now, the right way of, you know, making it more buildable than Force of Nature is nerfing Force of Nature. Which is so classic Riot that I can't even, but... <laughs> I might have just jinxed it, honestly. <laughs> I might have just jinxed it. Uh. <clears throat> you best be careful. You best be careful. I messed up the hook. Definitely. Yo? Hey yo! Where is everyone? 
Why are we going in on this bar? You said there are 13. What do you understand? Alright, I cannot work with this pe with these people. So I'm just gonna do my own thing, right? Like me, them, there's no team play happening. Ever. So like Oh, it's so bloody, man. Bloody hell, mate. Oh, they're about to get murked. Oh, mother. That has no cooldown. I'm sorry. That has no cooldown. That should have a cooldown. Even if it's like one second. What? It's just non-stop. <laughs> and she gets killed. All right, we gotta we gotta put on our not inting today pants. At least they got our GA, which helps us out a lot. Because the main problem with this game for us has been that her GA makes it so we can't kill her. Gotta be real careful with this. Sup? Bleeding enough there, that's for sure. Bro, you ain't Roku. You ain't Roku. Maybe you are, maybe you are. See ya. Oh. I wanted to have the pleasure, but okay. I guess the next one. Peace out. All right, everybody. It's Miroku back with some more gameplay, and we are currently being terrorized by the enemy team. Because we have a Shaco jungle, they're just going to do their best to <laughs> make life hell for this guy, which is quite unfortunate. But it is what it is. Um, I somehow doubt that they've left. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is crazy. Should we go for them? I kind of want to kill this Hecarim. Not gonna lie, I thought I'd still have my Noxium Might up. Put the Fiora down, please. <laughs> what a complete and utter mess. Jesus. Um, The lane's kind of doomed at this point. Because, not doomed, just messed up. Because not only am I able to get in lane, but she has Teleport, so she gets here faster. So that was a complete and utter mess, which I'm not too happy about. Well, that's so lucky for you. Yeah, when I jumped back in, I really thought I'd have, like, my Noxium Mind. Which would have made things a bit easier to fight. Like, instead of doing just some damage to the hero, I'd do most of her health, so even though I'd still die, my team would be able to kill her quickly instead of how long it took there. Overall, we won, but honestly, I'm pretty sure that they can do a bit more with the kills. Because, like, the people who can do a lot with the kills, like me or the Shaco, we didn't get, like, too much. I got one kill, but lane's screwed up anyway. Okay, not sure how worth it is to go for that 
plate there. <gasps> okay. Let's go for a kill here. Now she just sneaks that vital in. Took a bit of awkwardness to get rolling, but we finally put her down. Oh, I should have gotten the melee instead. It's gonna be a little tough to push this wave in though. With overwhelming force. And we don't get that melee. No, they're enraged. Okay, um, I'd say we started off pretty nicely. Got a solo kill, actually got a clean crash in. Not fast enough to the point where it's going to cause her any, you know, economic damage, let's say, because she'll miss CS, but we're not going to lose anything, which is good. We have a pretty good roundabout variety of stats right now, so she should be really strong in fights. I can go for another kill once I have my ghost up. The thing that kind of guaranteed the fight up here was the fact that she actually missed her riposte. Because if she landed and she actually stuck to me, she might have been able to go for like a closer fight where she almost wins, but nah. That's why I did an auto W there instead of just a W, because I was assuming she'd just keep fighting. Jesus. I really failed at predicting what she was exactly going to do. Because she like switched between modes constantly. Like, is she going to go down the river? Is she going to go back to her turret? <laughs> and in the confusion, I kind of just missed everything. and just auto-attacked her to death. Oh. Okay, I am not going to miss easy CS from this point on. We get Hearthbound and kill the gym, which is quite good. Hmm. In terms of builds, I'm just gonna go for Triforce actually. Triforce and then crack some heads with that tasty, tasty sheen damage. This is one of the few times I've seen Kassa didn't actually get ahead in lane. <laughs> quite a spectacle. You only see like a few times per lifetime. I don't know if the Shaco can actually put up that good of a fight against the Hecarim here. Like, Hecarim is stronger, right? <laughs> In all this. She was just in a bad position where no matter what she did, she'd just die no matter what. It's gonna be quite tough to actually clear this though. Nice. No one actually. <laughs> I thought they'd be running up here to try to kill me because of how killable I am, but now they actually went to the other side of the map. Okay. We're running pretty hard right now. Got a plate too, which makes up for the diminished amount of gold I get from killing her over and over again. She's going for Divine Sunder, okay. Interesting. Yeah, she has demolish. Hmm. My destination is clear. Okay, she has her flash up right now and she has her ultimate up, so I don't think she kills us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we destroy her even if she has everything up, but. It's just an extra thing to keep in mind, because I don't want to waste my sums and stuff and ever escape with those two things. I will be brute forcing her right now, though. She ain't getting this wave. Ooh. 
Yeah, I'm just so far ahead that it doesn't matter what she does, I just straight up kill her. I even messed up the whole thing where you stand up against the wall. No. If she landed her riposte, maybe it's a bit closer, actually. Because, like, 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 like the first time I killed her, she actually just missed her riposte, which made her a pretty easy kill. Okay, let's go get try first. We're gonna lose some plates right here. Can't exactly stay. I actually can. I have ultimate, right? Why risk it? I'm not strong enough to. F I'm like I am strong enough, but I'm. I don't have enough health to fight a two v one. Right B between her and the Yakram, they might just kill me. So, I'd rather just chill and not risk it. And besides, if I stayed, I wouldn't just be staying for like one wave or whatever. I'd have to stay for like. Two three minutes, and during that time, anything can happen, and I won't be in position to quite follow up on that. Oh, that was a bit of an insane thing to go for. Yeah, all right, whatever. Let's see if I can force like a 2v1 here. Or just have the hacker run into me <laughs> for a free double buff. Ah, oh my god. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go for a WQ combo next time. Okay, now we just kill her. I thought she'd repost the Q and then go for the dash, but no. If she, like, she actually dodged my Q properly, right? So if what she should have done is, like, on top of, like, the dash, she should have reposted me to block my W there. Then I would have been just screwed. I would have had to ghost out of turret range. I should get this juicy bounty. I'm not gonna like take the full turret yet. I wanna keep farming this Fiora. And it doesn't look like any other turrets close to death on our team, so there's no like rush to do so. All in all, bad news for you, buddy. Yeah, when you're playing Darius, you don't actually wanna like if you're this fit as Darius, and you're in a position where you can just basically conquer the whole side of the map because they can't do anything against you, you don't wanna kill this turret too quickly until like the very last seconds. Because like the enemy top is forced to walk up here, which means that they're forced to stay in your range and be a potential kill. They're forced to just be, you know, murderable by you, if that makes sense. And that's basically what I wanna exploit. In addition to every weakness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm presumably killed her there. <laughs> oh my god, we're so bad. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, let's do this. One more kill. Push the lane in. Then we get Sterex. The reason I got the turret there was because if I leave it, recall, come back, it's gonna be like, you know, the platings will fall. And I don't wanna stay out here for too long. My destination is clear. Oh. Okay. We got our Sterex here, pretty good. In terms of what I should build, I'm thinking just Tenacity. 
right? So Merc Treads, but I will have to build armor at some point. So I'll go armor for the Death Stance, but I'm going to be aiming to finish Merc Treads, right? There we go. So this goes into Merc Treads, next back, and then I start building towards Death Stance. And also, this new icon is like one of the most disgustingly ugly things I've seen in League. Ugh. Like, it's just gross, isn't it? Like, at least before it was like a bit ambiguous, but now it's just some... I don't even want to talk about it. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Do we have Ashar? Obviously, I can't force a play in mid lane. They're too high range for me, so I'd rather just terrorize the top side of their map, force him to deal with me, or try, at least, and we can get free objectives. I'm gonna push this wave out to the T2, and hope we can get both the Fear and the Hecarim on us. Alright, they're going bot. Let's go for this turret then. That's an ace, actually. Nice. See ya, buddy. <laughs> At the carnage of bodies and then starts laughing. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you know, I have a very soft spot in my heart for this skin because it's actually, it's honestly the first one I ever bought. Not first Darius skin, just the first skin I ever purchased. So, like, I just love this skin, man. Ugh. Like,. Yeah, this is actually, this is my main account, right? So this is actually the, like, the copy that I bought. I know, like, there's no differentiation, right? That's the thing I don't like about League skins. A lot of people value their accounts, right? But with how Riot has, you know, your account set up, all your skins and stuff have inherently no value. You can't trade them, you can't do anything with them. They're just, like, basically worthless and trapped within the Riot system. Unless you go up with like black market methods. So it's like, I'm not gonna pretend like this is like, you know, there's any value or whatever in skins, but personally, this copy on this account, this skin on this account has a lot of value. Just, you know, lots of nostalgia. All right, we actually gotta get out of here, cause, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Um, Hecarim's going for a, a nasty build here. Um, <laughs> he's gonna go Kinsu's. <laughs> Zero physical damage on him. <laughs> oh man. Uh. How beautiful, how beautiful. I want to get close to this wall, because the blitz can just hook me, cross it. Then, with Seraphine there too, I might just get into a situation where I can't play. I think they have opened, because at this point it's like... Alright, they haven't opened. I was kind of hoping that they would have, because there's no point in, like, <laughs> playing this match for them anymore. Ooh, hit and miss. All right, now we run away. Uh-oh. 
Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. I like how I didn't even. <laughs> like, normally when you're going for an engage like that, you at least, like, go in there for, like, the fight. <laughs> he just. He walked up, missed the hook, and just left. What a, what, what an alpha male Chad. Walks in, hex flashes, misses ult. Doesn't explain, leaves. Yeesh. Alright, let's get our disgusting death dance. Ugh. If I could, like, if I knew how to mod this game, I would uh, mod the picture of Death Dance to be, like, the old one. Because <laughs> it just looks horrible, man. Jeez. Looks nasty. I was going to talk about my build, but <laughs> honestly, there's no point. It's just a slaughter. I might just get a collector here if this goes on long enough. Just for that extra one shotting power. Let's just group up and end mid, honestly. There's no reason to let this go on longer than it is. Rejoice! Okay. Oh, Cover my escape. We got out movemented. Mm. Man, I'm trying to like and like contribute, but it's like these fights are beyond me. Also, this Seraphine is fighting like it's the last match of her life. Jesus Christ, bro! Just <laughs> let's end. It. All right, Blitz is about to pop off. He's gonna get the Ash. Or is he gonna target Papa Roku? Uh oh, sorry, buddy. I appreciate the heal. Nice. Fight. Nice. All right, that's basically it for this match. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out. Okay, let's just get right into it. We're up against Fiora top. Their enemy team has a lot of CC, a ton of it. So much so that in fact I am running double tenacity here with legend tenacity and unflinching because I do not want to build Merc Treads in this game. I have to go Tobbies for the lane, just rush it. So having this tenacity is going to be a huge, huge, huge help. <clears throat> so yeah, um, Fiora lane, nothing too crazy. Standard old chill early levels so she doesn't murder you into wait until you have all your abilities so you can murder her into don't get hit by repost if you can help it <laughs> uh that ability is so overpowered anyway um what's happening here is he stuck there nope 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 <clears throat> She kind of just gave me that one with that fail flash. I had to. I had to. Oof. Messed up our ROW. We also running Academy. Finally, a normal Darius skin that's actually playable. All right, let's get a recall going. Crash the wave. We didn't do it too quickly, so she gets CS here. But the point of that was more so to get a, like a juicy recall going and to not miss any CS ourselves. Um, let's get cloth armor, and we walk into lane. Ugh. The thing with Darius is that you can kind of just go defensive things first, because it's more important that you don't die. That you, it's more important for you to not die than for you to kill the enemy quickly. Because with Darius, you don't actually need to kill the enemy quickly. You can just outlast them, right? 
So yeah. She actually has no stats available, so if I can get level 3 here, I might be able to just straight kill her. Please give me this XP. Ah! That would've been level 3. Rip. Alright, well, we gotta chill, because we're not level 3 and she is. Maybe I can bait her into a fight against this Nunu. Alright, yeah, she just messed up. I think even without the Nunu, I straight kill her on my own. <laughs> but, you know what they say, sharing is caring. And I right click that minion and it just didn't attack. Okie dokie. What did you call? Finish our Tabi. Nice. Okay, good. I think you actually exchange kills. We have a pretty nasty team fight going here with Nunu, me, and the fiddle especially. So yeah. So we're gonna be more so about like trapping the enemy team in bad positions and then just destroying them with our abilities together. The thing is the enemy team also has a bit of a counter to that, right? They have a lot of CC themselves. They have a really good engage too, right? Whereas our engage kind of relies on them being in like a position they can be snowballed into. They also have silos who can kind of just steal someone's ult and do what they do. So overall, it's a pretty, like, evenish position that clearly relies on who gets more fed and who... Honestly, how often they step into <laughs> fiddle ultimates. <laughs> so yeah, vision's gonna be a big factor here. Pretty good trade. That's a lot of mana for it, but, you know. She lost my health. See ya. I kind of appreciate her efforts, but she is not, like... Focusing on the vitals enough. Like, she should be, like, zeroing, zeroing in on the vitals and only going for fights once she gets them. Like, if she can't hit the vitals, the fight's just over. Because I can just basically juggle her like I did there and never let her have one. I'm dead here. Ugh. I honestly should have just, like, walked into the turret, but I didn't pay attention to the vision. And she holds the wave? Are you... Are you actually serious? Oof. Alright, well, we lose a wave out of nowhere. Junglers, am I right or am I right? Man, how... Go in. Don't back off. Alright, he, he just destroyed both of them. Oh my god. Bro, that Silas destroyed them. Oh my god. He just straight up tossed their sal- <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he, he literally just outplayed both of them there. Oof, at least they get the kill. But man, he really just destroyed them there. Go for another all-in, get another kill. She has her flash up, but we have ours up too, so it should be quite an easy fight. Look, we're outstanding her by so much, actually. Okay. Pretty chill so far. I want to give her this vital. Pretty good in terms of like a trade, but not too good in terms of I want to kill her. That's chill. 
Sedge is probably going crazy with the gank opportunities. Also, with this, like, control ward by the Nunu earlier on, it's, like, left me with... Like, I the burden to keep this place warded is not really on me. So that's perfect. Make no <clears throat> Else is missing. Okay. They're all coming. Ooh. Yeah. We had so much warning from the like the wards that that was never gonna work for them. Let's see if I can get some vision here. Like I can I can see both areas without the console ward catching it. Okay, let's try to freeze this. Okay, she flashed that. I don't think we catch her. Yeah. That boy's thin out. Let me drag this a bit towards here. Thin out further. It's gonna crash there. Get the sword. Pretty weird location for a crash, honestly, but if it's our purposes. Now that it's. Yeah, you know, we got the ward. We. We're close enough to the Nunu to support him. We don't need to be here anymore. I'm just gonna let this fall back. I had to do that. <laughs> Ugh. I kind of got lucky there, to be honest. But also, like, the idea was I do my flash Q first. And I don't know if I'm, like, this could just be me being lucky instead of what I planned working. But what the idea was, she has repost. So what I do is I press Q. She knows I can flash Q. But I don't do it. So to her, it's like, oh, I give up. But then I actually go for a flash ult. Right? That was the kind of trick, I guess, quote-unquote, that tried to play. And it worked, but then again, right? It might just be that she, like, was generally not paying attention or something. Right? So, yeah. Also, isn't it crazy that that fight was anywhere near close? Even though I'm, like, I was three kills up on her at the time. <laughs> oh, God. These champions. These champignons are killing me. We... Okay, let's go for more freezes. <laughs> Not sure what you think that's gonna do, buddy. Okay, we're just slaughtering them at this point. I waited for those last two minions because if it pushes with like four or so, then she can get a freeze off. But with two, she just has to push it in. Actually, I kind of want to just kill her again here. Oh my god. Alright, let's just get out of here. <laughs> ah. I 
gonna just leave it at that. Oh. Y'all keep pushing. I have my orders. Okay, we have to leave now, because I don't have the health to like hold this exactly. We do unfortunately have to give up plates, but there's three top and no response from our homeboys. So yeah, that, that turret is, those plates are as good as gone. And it's actually just a bad idea to give it to the Varus there. He just gets like four plates easy. Ugh, disgusting. It's not an even trade, honestly, because like we're already ahead, right? So the gold is worth way more for them than us if it's like equivalent. Yeah, we're not catching her. Okay, you only gets two. They don't commit to it as much. We do not catch him, bro. Where to fill the oh, I just got killed mid lane. Okay, Aurelio, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Strength above all. Mm, I guess we're not gonna see what you got. Okay, I gotta leave because <laughs> their whole team just is no longer occupied. So I'm like up on the chopping block. Also, where's this Fiora? There she is. Um. Vars has no mana, actually. If I can get him to toss some abilities out, I can kill him, but... I kinda need to thresh the show first. That red buff is so annoying. The FF. My kill. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Alright, we're back with some more gameplay. We're up against Singe Top. This is a pretty easy matchup for Darius in the typical sense. But if you think about like how it actually goes in game, it probably will end up like in a weird state where I have a bunch of kills, I'm ahead, but the Singe will just run behind my turret and proxy endlessly. There's not a lot you can do to actually stop it, especially since he's going to like a weird hex flash thing where he's going to do is just like push the wave in, flash over with hex flash or whatever, and then just try to proxy from here. It's quite an obnoxious playstyle to try to fight. And me being forced to leash is not something I'm too happy about. Uh, I'm afraid it's already too late. Junglers! I've got both of sums at least. Here we go. Ugh. Yeah, I should just let that come start on his own. Because he's kind of low HP, I doubt he can actually proxy for too long, though. So that's good at least. I'm 
can at least get the XP from the death. Uh, God. How fun is this? I'm actually surprised he had the health for that one more wave there. Let's try to freeze this here. Stay alert. The name of the game is basically just trying to make sure that we cheese a few kills and also to try to, I guess, out CSM. Like we're gonna, as a champion, have more XP gold, whatever, but he's just gonna permanently be able to do that because of Hexplash. Truly one of the more annoying strategies out there. And on top of that, I gotta deal with jungle pressure. Fun, fun, fun. Actually dodged our hook there. Oh, yeah. <sighs> This is so tilting. There's just nothing to even do because he's just gonna run behind the turret. I have my orders. Screw you. Like, I have to keep control of the lane, and the second something chaotic happens, he just basically gets into the routine again. Like, here we go. He didn't even, like, run at him to try to kill him. <sighs> cool. This is Oom, so he has to recall. Never mind. I'll just stick to this. Ghost for ghost. I'll just try to just cool down a bit. Because if I just get tilted, that's kind of him winning because I'll just keep chasing him and do stupid things. I have to basically keep my rationality. So that when he does int, I can actually just go for kills. I don't want to tank these too much. No mistakes. Man. We can't actually just like force him under the turret to like die. Because he's just constantly pl playing around here. If anybody comes here, it's a free kill, but I guess we're not interested in free kills. Whatever. We're just stuck doing this until the rest of the lane, I guess. Hope we can get some gameplay on the rest of the map, though. We're also kind of stuck, like, in lane like this. Because it can recall from so far back. Okay. We're definitely going to go for Stray Breaker here, by the way. The move speed and everything, and the slow, is going to be quite useful here. Carve a path. Okay. 
Okay. <sighs> there we go. He should be a kill. At least someone wants kills. Let's crash this baby unit and go for a recall. He has flash gone now, so I can maybe use it to go for a kill. Okay. A bit more farm, and we complete strike break. I mean, with how the lane is going, I stay in lane so long that I don't even, like, have the time to, like, recall. So we're going to get it the next recall, because we got to stay in lane for so long, right? Like, we're doing better, obviously. Higher level, higher everything, but, you know, the proxy can't be beat. That doesn't land, oh my god. Where are you going? I can't believe, okay, whatever, whatever. I really don't care at this point. I'm just gonna farm. Man, he just left instead of killing him? Are you serious? All right, this guy's just trolling me at this point. Like, he 100% just doesn't care. So I'm also not gonna care. Ugh. Make no okay, cut this Wukong off at least. Nice. Okay, let's go back top. Actually, proxying both mid and top now. Good. Like, at this point, I can't stop him myself, right? And if I'm not being helped, that's just what happens. Let's just try to be selfish, I guess. Get what we can. I will just stay in lane until I get my Stray Breaker. Should be like two, three more ways and I can go for it. Actually four, it's 1.4k, yeah. Like three, four, not two, three. Shaken, not stirred. And here we go again. I have my orders. Okay, he actually gets the entire wave there. Strength above all.
We haven't actually like fought him like a proper fight once this whole match. Because of face rush. Let's recall. We got a striker right now. So we should be able to get some work done. There we go, my pretty. All right, let's get back in lane. Rest. That was a little crazy. Didn't land, rip. And there you go, he has Ryal Eyes. <laughs> yeah, this match is over. <laughs> I'm never gonna catch this dude. How long is this slow? Okay, that's his sums gone too. Like theoretically, this is like the freest kill ever for anyone. Cause at no point in the lane does he have sums. Like he has no ultimate. And he's always like half HP and stuff like that. Cause he's actively proxying and also like, I do damage to him. But no. Nope, nope, nope. I do not On the bright side with stride, we can also clear away pretty quickly. So I guess this is just us clearing each other's waves over and over again. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm getting pretty upset, but man, like, I rarely, like, <laughs> I rarely have CS that's like approaching 10 CS per minute. So it's that kind of match. Oh man. Creep up. Oh man. So we back in the mind. <laughs> Bro, what is that? Is that really like a build you can go somehow I doubt that let's just stay in lane honestly screw it on a queue man that fucking oh, like swear <laughs> the slow lasts so long Ooh. yeah the thing is right even though he's proxing I'm also constantly farming and being relatively strong so he can't actually beat me in a straight up fight especially not when he doesn't have ignite okay actually they how are they int what oh man our entire bot side got destroyed so we're not getting we're not farming this singe for kills and our bot side loses like that Ugh, that's so disgusting whatever well um big boy roku's got a Put on the carry pants, I guess. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure we can win with a Nico, right? But oof, they got a lot of head damage dealers. Strat is actually not the worst call here, so I can actually slow them, set up kills and stuff like that. But one thing that I have to also get is armor. Let's pick up like a um, cloth armor at some point, finish our stacks, then maybe go for like a um, death dance or something, or, or maybe. maybe. How does he get like 
the phase rush in one go like that. It's... He doesn't auto, it's just a flip and then like a... The poison trail. He actually dodged everything there. Oh my god, this guy's faker. Jesus. <laughs> you don't you can't usually dodge when the situation gets like that messy, but that guy pulled it off. I gotta respect it. I gotta respect it. Let's see if you can kill the move from here. He dies good. Not as flashed in. Fair enough, he got the kill. No ignite. Man, what happened? Like, they were so fed, they just started inting for no reason. Well. I don't think Wukong was packing any bounties. Oh, he was? Good, yeah. 600. That's unfortunate. I'd say we're doing quite well for ourselves, but the game is out of our control at this point. Like, our fed characters kind of started doing badly, so. Not sure where we go from here, if I'm being honest. No. We'll continue fighting. Wait, who's the. I think the AD is auto filled. Just a hunch. He actually flipped the right one, too. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, this build is kind of troll, isn't it? Like, no sheen item, really? Yeah, uh, Pike dies too. Ugh. Let's just try to see if we can get some kills in here. I actually can. Seriously? Nice. Bounty's a kill. I mean, Bounty kills a bounty kill. Okay. <laughs> Does the bleed kill him? <laughs> I actually like this guy. <laughs> I actually like him. <laughs> as much as he's been basically just running circles around me and like annoying me the whole lane, I actually like him. <laughs> respect, respect, respect. As he's bleeding to death, he looks me in the R. Spamming control three, I do the same. Top laner, mutual respect achieved. Let's go back. We're really strong, but <laughs> so is the entire enemy team. At least we got some bounties there. Who got the bounties, actually? Sai got Kai'Sa, good. I got Silas, good. And Hakram got the Wukong. I hope he actually buys, like, a something useful already. Let's go for, let's go for Death Dance. To help out. So I gotta be careful. I'm pretty sure he saw a kill here. Why am I even going top lane? Oh yeah, the dragon was up. I, I couldn't see the icon because of that ward. Not clearly. You get it. The thing is, if I walk out, he actually didn't go for the Nautilus there. Ugh. Unless. Okay. 
Okay, I guess we get kills. Turret's gone, though. I'm gonna go back and clear that. Yeah, this place is calmed down. We can just walk back. Ugh, so disgusting what's going on here. Okay, I think two kills or so and some waves and I get death stance. Is this really the right team to build that kind of thing in? Because get a lot of, like, champions who slap meat, like, constantly. Oh, 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 oh no. Yeah, I, I inted. I inted. I, I thought I could get the Kai'Sa alone, but <laughs> their whole team was there. Ugh. Yeah, I inted. I inted. The thing is, because their team has, like, constant DPS, because this is not a team where it's, like, a bunch of squishies that we got to reach that out Kaidas. These guys get into the fight and, like, fight, which is good for me. But we get a lot more use out of, like, a um, Divine Sunder build from Hecarim. Especially since, like, he's kind of our main frontline guy. I can't be that because I'm not tanky. And I'm also the guy who has to do the killing. Yay! Nico! Run! Oh! Alright, that started out good, but ended that out in a disaster. If they keep chasing, I might be able to get some work done here. Never mind, the chase finished. I got ult now, at least, so that's good. Yeah. Are you kidding? He just instantly gets caught? Uh, the Kai'Sa just one-shot me there. Man. Not good. I should've just let the Baron go. Me dying twice in a row like that? Like, I had a monumental lead over everyone. By now it's just like a normal lead. That makes sense. But honestly, like, did I? Cause the Kaiso was gonna kill me anyway, right? So I don't know. <sighs> Man, she got so fed. Like seriously, it's so hard for us to kill her. Not to mention that they have so much CC that it's actually quite difficult for me to maneuver around and do stuff in fights. I do not tolerate A lot of it's also CC that I just can't out tenacity, like the Nautilus Hook, Ult, Wukong Ult, Silas's Chain, the Singed, you know, Zone, I guess. I don't know what to call it. We're gonna fight? Stay alert. We gonna fight? Because, uh, I got a wave to catch. We also have a dragon coming up. Their whole team's here. Uh, let's just give it up, honestly. Screw it. We're not even, like taking the positions we need to go for the dragon. So now if we walk in there, we're just gonna get engaged on in one of these chokes and then just like, you know, five man ulted by the Nautilus R or something. And the Wukong, ugh. I have my Let's try to get level 16 actually, ASAP. But we're down right here. Okay, we're only a few more minions from level 16. If we get a kill, we just get level 16 from that fight. Okay. We actually put so much pressure on ourselves to carry with this build. To get a bunch of kills and fights. 
because if we don't, it's over. Man, her getting caught would be like the best thing that could have happened. Because then the Nautilus would be in kill range, and then we'd actually get kills on the Kaisa as well. What? Dude! You can't be serious! You cannot be serious like that! Oh my god, he engaged the Nautilus into me. Like, for their team. Q, Q, Q. Come on, hit him once. Nice. Still can't kill the Kaisa. But man, I can't believe how... I remember trade. Okay, I guess we can go Spirit Visage. Oof, that's so much damage, actually. Let's get more MR, because the main thing that's kind of shredding us right now is the Silas. At some other point, we can also go, like, uh, Frozen Heart or something. Or maybe DMP. That sounds good, too. <clears throat> this game is so messed up. Hell. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm so dead. They don't kill the Wukong at least there? Yeah, I got caught for no reason. Honestly, of all the times to actually play with me, he chooses that point. Yeah. A bit too late. Or all damage wasn't enough to one shot him there. I can't kill the Sil the Silas there because he has Sonny's Hourglass, right? He can just pop it and be invulnerable. Be impossible for me to put down all that good stuff. Well, good. Not good for us, of course. Jesus, like this whole match is so disgusting to even attempt to play. Let's get in here before Pikey Wikey gets murdered. I was going to ult him! Please let me ult someone! Finally, Jesus Christ. Like... <laughs> did, did it really take that? There were so many resets I could have had <laughs> that they just didn't give me. Oh my god. I do not Actually, Flay should be out of that. Jeez Louise. Well, here's our pliers. Wise, here's our priorities. Let's 
Let's get a few more waves. The recall. Are we seriously gonna go for that? Oh, death dance. Um, how much do we do with R? Level 18, 230. 230 goes into 1345. Okay, it goes into 345. Um, that's roughly uh, 1400. Conqueror roughly gives us like 45, 1.45k. Okay. Let's go with this one. Nice. Finally, we work with me and then we win fights. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually winning this. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Is he dead here? She is. Nice. Pop. We might be able to... Can we end here? I don't know. If we try and die, this is it. One thing's for sure, I cannot die here. RG right, win. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> we actually carry it to victory. GG, <laughs> GG. I can't believe that. Oh my god, all right. That's perfect. <laughs> what a roller coaster of a match. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're up against Camille Top. This should be interesting. They have a pretty weird team. Two melees that we can kind of interact with, but also not really because, you know, they're kind of mobile. And also, he has face pressure, which will make it a bit difficult to catch him, but he should be worse in fights in general. There's the rest of the team. Nami is kind of a free kill. Karthus is killable. And Zed is, well, Let's just say none of our business, because <laughs> a smart Z is impossible to kill. Anyway, let's just get right into it. Um, the lane shouldn't be too difficult. Hecarim is going to be a bit too hard to 2 you in because he has face rush, right? I can't go for double Qs and stuff too easily. Wave control strategy wise, I am planning on basically chilling, right? Not going too crazy, not going for any level 1 kills, because they're not too possible. Just chilling until I can get my later levels. I don't want the wave to push too hard in either direction, but I would like it to be crashed around here, like a bit further than the middle in my direction. She's pushing it quite hard. Okay. Oof, didn't want to get hit by that. You can go for a fight here, actually, if you get some melee range. Okay, that's a flash gone. Gotta run so she doesn't get the W off. I kind of knew that she was a bit far away from level 3, so I could just literally flash on her with level 3 and kill her. <sighs> Let's recall. Try not to die, all that good stuff. Hacker has bot sight, so we shouldn't be in risk of dying at all. Oh, he has that cool skin, man. 
I actually love that Arcana skin on Hecarim. Mostly because it's red, and that is the best color. No comparison, no argument. Um, there we go. I myself like the game to be quiet, right? But I do realize that y'all want to hear what's going on in-game. So there it is. Also, the game volume can't be louder than uh, <laughs> me. So there's that as well. We have a really good buy here. A lot more than what she got. Our XP lead is also pretty decent. That doesn't land? Man, that Hecarim got behind me, was just over at that point. <sighs> Unlucky. I, I should just keep paying attention, honestly. Like, I kind of just ignored the situation. Oh, man. He just clears the whole wave. Uh, I'm not a fan. I mean, at the end of the day, most of it would have gone to the turret, but I would at least get some of it. <laughs> I guess all of it. I hope he gets something done with the XP at least. He's like two levels up on the hack room now. But I'm one level down. Yeehaw. It's all good. Should be able to go for another kill with Ghost, provided that I'm, you know, cancel her hook shot with my hook. Let's get a ward out actually. I do not tolerate I gotta be really careful with my cues. <laughs> kind of pushing him way too hard. Can't let her have that cannon. No way, bro. No way, Jose. Make no We're on the hunt for a wild Hecarim. Perfect. That should be really useful. Oh man. Like, <laughs> I don't want to over exaggerate. Like, I guess, is that even a word? Just exaggerate what's going on. But, like, the amount you need for levels in terms of XP gets higher and higher. And Udyr still having a two level lead is actually quite massive for us. Kim's gonna have flash soon, so that's one Q to sheet. Basically, guaranteed dodges. Or two. One with flash, one with the ult. I'd love to, like, recall here, actually, but, uh. Seriously? Bruh! He just ran straight top without caring about anything. What a tough match. We're just getting camped by the second room. Yeah, he catches her. He's got ghost. Never mind. Oh, man. Not, not gonna say anything, but I'm quite annoyed by how this is turning out. Yeah, I wanted to like get a ward out, but <laughs> man, because if he's coming out here, he's done with all his camps, right? So I'd be like, okay, he's just gonna go to go bot, but no, he's ran straight top. 
Gross, gross, gross. Man. Guess let's try to make it work. She has no flash, so that's good. She has to bleed. Nice. Normally it's quite a bad idea to do that versus TP, but because we just killed her, like while our minion wave was already practically crashed at the turret, it let us roll with the damage of our minions. Then go try. I mean Tabby's here. And try force, of course, but Tabby's against the Camille, against the Hecker, against the Zed, who are the people I'll be basically interacting with for most of the game. If the Karthus becomes a problem later on in the game, I could just get some magic resist. I think a single force of nature will be basically enough for him if he does get fed or whatever happens. From while it from what it looks like, he's not gonna be doing much aside from just getting assists and stuff from his ult, which is great for us. I don't think this is a doable gank at all. Like, it's not possible. Because he's just not going to get into the range. Let's get in here, let's get in here, let's get in here. Kills it or the swing. Okay. Got a bunch of kills. I didn't even use my ultimate, so I can still I'm I'm still ready to go for another fight. That was a pretty nasty E cancel, honestly. <laughs> Man, that was angled Mwah, perfectly. Ah, uh, Warhacker. Get away from me. You're weird. You get away, you, you. <laughs> God. Um, I'll just summon D Blade. So these blades, man, is going like Umbral Glaive on Hecarim the play nowadays? I gotta just read up on the Hecarim meta, I guess, but Jesus, man, this champ just builds anything and everything and it works. Like the only thing that Hec like that I haven't seen Hecarim build yet is like Gale Force crit, but like something tells me that's not too far off. God help us. You best not get my melee range. I will short circuit that mechanical booty. Oof. Look at that damage. Nothing really to commentate over, really. I'm just gonna push her under turret, try to poke her down. Okay. 
Okay. Come on, boy. What, what, what? Hey. I'm gonna go for a Sterax for that extra meat. Dude, the Sterax Triforce combo is actually so crazy. Ever since they improved the amount of AD you get from Sterax. Right? I mean, the shield buffs are nice, right? The fact that it lasts another second means that it doesn't suffer from the decaying shield as much. Like, the thing is, right, a shield is good, but a decaying shield kind of sucks because all it does is it kind of defends against burst. But it decaying over like practically five seconds means that, you know, less of that decay comes into play. But anyway, so Sterex gives more base AD. And that base AD, like from Triforce, goes into Sterex. So you get it back as bonus AD, right? So the further you go in fights, the more AD you're going to have from Sterex. It's pretty crazy. Like, I think by level 18, and I know you're not supposed to like care about the build at level 18 because the game is already over, but... You get like up to 90 AD with like a fully stacked Triforce. Like that's, you get 90 AD from Sterex with a fully stacked Triforce. I kind of messed that up. <laughs> Had to alter it twice. Yeah, I am not looking forward to death, buddy. You know what? I am a hero. Uh. All right, all right, all right. Let's 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 just leave. Let's just leave. I just came back to not let him die. <laughs> I just didn't want him to get killed by this Zed. I do not want to fight. <laughs> I'm like 300 health, no stair axe, just on the verge of death. I think this is how I'm staying, I might as well just get these crags and then get the wave that this is pushing in. Then I'll have like a complete stair axe, which should be a big boost to our fighting ability. Our fighting ability. Ooh. He's just swagging on now. As hard as we're winning right now, I'd rather us not give bounties to the Karthus, because he's not really been a threat this whole time. Also, was that just a bar? I'd rather us not give bounties to the Karthus. I just dropped a bar there, man. Let me know in the comment section below if you want your boy to drop a Darius mixtape. <laughs> hey, well, check out my mixtape, man. I'm gonna go bot. <clears throat> the Lucian, although he is like ahead and stuff, he can't exactly match. That is such a cool recall. He can't exactly match the Camille on his own. And he can't split, so it's better for me to do the job. Also, this turret is looking mad juicy. I'm not too confident about fights, though. I am a little behind. Not behind. I'm a, I'm a little summer spell less. Not behind, jeez. Wrong word. But yeah, I know summer spell, so bigger fights with lots of more champions are going to be a no-go for me. He just ate it on attack. Rip. Check it out. That's 70 AD at level 12. Like, you get, like, a bunch of AD off of the Triforce thing.
Hit me if you can, boy. Oh. Alright, I asked for that. I asked for that. I completely asked for that. Uh, I was dancing with the devil for too long. Alright, let's go for the MR, actually. Just straight up. Go for the cloak. Um, surely 50 magic resist is good enough. I might even just complete it so that I'll have the extra move speed. Because, like, the move speed from DMP is quite nice, but the bad part about it is that you don't get it in the middle of fights. You only get it, like, going into fights. So the DMP move speed is great for moving around the map, but it's practically just the 5% you get from it if, like, you're talking in the thick of the fight dodging kill shots. But Force of Nature, on the other hand, it gives you that insane sort of, like, you know, this massive burst in movement speed in the middle of the fight. And it's quite huge, right? It's nothing to scoff at. Like, it's the type of move speed that makes a difference, you know? You combine it with, like, a ghost, it's like, you move so fast. Okay, let's keep pushing up bot and try not to die like an idiot, like last time. Hmm. I want to get into like a big fight here. Unless I see like that bit. Unless he said their team is not here, I'm not going to get into a fight. That is barren though, so maybe I should. Get some pressure in here. Ah. Well, we got two of them down here. Nice, that should be barren for us, unless the Karthus. Like, what Karthus should have done is just run into the Baron there and just Q while dead. Alright, he's completely dead there. Come on, happy feet, happy feet. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Um, we died, right? That sucks. But we did get some space for our team to get banished. That's great. Um, in terms of, I need more AD armor, obviously. I'll go for death. Yes, actually. I just bought the chain vest in preparation for it, but I'm gonna probably. Like finish the force of nature so they can join team fights and not get shredded by this Karthus. Cause he does do a lot of damage, man. Jesus. Like any mage that builds a Leandries gets so much damage out of it. Like Triforce. Okay, I, I, I actually have a lot of damage from Triforce too, but like, Jesus. I know like you're supposed to expect it, but Camille's Divine Sunder numbers are always just completely insane. Like what? Bruh, you're tripping. Um, did the old kill him? Yeah, that's right. Man, I have like the cloak, and the old still hit me for like 600 damage. Let's chill here. Should just cancel that hook shot. Like she does that a lot where she hook shots backwards. And like the thing is normally you do that kind of thing on Camille, you want to get like a trade and get out instantly. But she doesn't even hit me. That should be a dead Zed. Like, we blow people up when they get on top of us, but we're dying constantly in side lanes. I gotta just fight with the team. This whole side lane, look for fights thing, it's getting us kills, but it's not really helping us win the game. We should just be forcing fights with the team. With this Udyr especially, he's like so strong. Look at him. Jesus. That thing's slowing the heck him. Wow. <laughs> he's running after him with ghosts. Oh my god. <laughs> She actually went in on him instead of going over the wall. Nope. <laughs> How is that fair? 
I swear to God. Man, I get fed and I can kill like two, three people. He gets fed. It's like he rivals Jiren. Like, Jesus Christ. Whatever. Um. <laughs> Let's just eat this dragon. Get over, big guy. Get over here, tough guy. Let's chill. If I go down there, I'm looking for a 2v1. Not looking. I'm gonna catch one. Well, there's not much to do except get a level 16. Whoa, that's a little aggressive. At least it kind of gives me space to go for this turret. Nice, it's one turret down. A few more to go. I should've just gone for the kill. Why did they let him go? Is this all right? Well, he's... He couldn't say the turret, but at least he can, like, match the Camille. Let's go. Whoa! Alright, so we killed all of them. That's good. Here's hoping here's hoping that uh they can end the game off of that. This swing is just perma harassing this Camille, so cool. Battle of the Gods. Rip. Well that's basically it for this match. Honestly, we just completely stomped them, but <laughs> There was a point in the game where we were just, like, griefing on the side lane, 2v1 constantly, or 3-1. Can they hit the Nexus? Nice. <laughs> no, no, just hit the Nexus, just hit the Nexus, alright. GG, let's get this next one, peace out. Alright, we're back up top, playing against Set. Set with teleport, so his kill pressure is going to be a bit lower on us, but we should still be careful. Now, the fundamentals of fighting this guy are... To be kept in mind. Level 1, we're chilling, right? Level 2, if he ranks his E and his W, we're not fighting him. If he's ranking his Q and his E, we kill him. And level 3, we try to fight him, but you have to play the all-ins in a certain way, and that certain way is essentially want to force him to use his E the first thing in the fight. Because if you let him keep it, he's just gonna use it to like um guarantee his W, which sucks, right? Then he just outstats you. So, when you're ready for an all in, just go for like Q's to poke him. And if he E's, then you're good to go, right? Cut him down, ghost him out. You don't actually want to start the fight in his melee range, right? You want him to engage. Because if you start a fight in his melee range, he can actually get some damage through, right? And you're going to stack his W, which means that he can actually get a lot of damage through his W by combining it with his E. Nice. I'm running Conquer Resolve. Bone Plating is really clutch in this matchup. Because the thing is, right, Set gets in your range. And, like, when he does so, he doesn't just hit you once. He hits you multiple times. Okay. Not a pokey champion. That makes sense. We get. Oh. Yeah, I, I didn't keep in mind that he could just get level 2 off of that melee. He has a long sword up on us, so we should be careful. I was like, is he on long sword pre pop? But now he just had an extra one from the kill. Nice. Short trades, force him to use his E. If he doesn't, the fight doesn't go on. <clears throat> we completely just shrek him in these short fights. Crash 
fashion. Sucks that we can't get a kill off. I should just all in level two to get the flash out at least. Okay, that was a bit insane from him. He should just eat and flashed out. I was prepared to flash auto attack him, but he literally just stayed in my auto range. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty good. We get a kill. We don't get a flash. We got a TP, but we didn't actually have to use any of our sumps for that kill either. So it was like pretty even-ish. That makes sense. Could go for boots here, and I'll actually sell this for a refill pot. <clears throat> Extra one fifty. I'm just gonna go for it. It's better than regular pollution anyway. Give me your strongest potions, wizard. You're not ready for my strongest potions. <clears throat> Min lane's gonna be a kill for us, hopefully. Is that at least a flash? Good. I'm gonna try to cue this, slow the push down. He actually just, like, wasn't paying attention there. Like, he had his W stacked up, but what happened was that, like, because he didn't use it and he got into the range for me to just all W kill him, I could just hook and all W during the hook to kill him. Because hook is, like, it acts like a stun, right? And when he's stunned, he can't cast abilities. Man, I love the aura of this skin, honestly. Like, if they actually, like... I made a review on the skin, obviously. You guys can check it out. But, like, the skin is, like, only a few adjustments away from being perfect, right? Reworked. Like, they should redo his hair, right? Make it a bit more wild instead of tied up. Make his horn a bit thicker. My taste-wise, they should give him more armor. Then this will be perfect. Oh. Like, I always wanted, like, a, like, a Blood Moon Darius type skin, you know? There was, like, a concept out for it a while ago. You can look it up on Google. But it's such a sick idea. <sighs> but we don't get what we always want. I should go for a quick little trade here. Oof. That was spicy. Normally it wouldn't work, but because we're just so... Like, you know, so much more overstat than him. The bleed is just enough. The thing a lot of people don't get about Set's W shield is that, like, it's a massive shield, but what it essentially does is that it just protects him from burst. Any consistent damage, it practically just doesn't do anything against. Because what basically happens is that, like, our bleed stacks are, like, for five seconds. He only blocks it for, like, the first two seconds. Right? The shield doesn't stop the next three ticks, which is, like, quite devastating, right? Because if he's low enough, when he Ws, doesn't matter. He'll just die to the bleed. That's what happened. Despite, like, like, the gap between us is a bit major for the amount of kills we have on him. That's basically because, like, every time we kill him, we're just, like, bleeding him dry of minions. Which is pretty good. Sure, we'll go for another kill here if he stays on the minions, but if he's smart, he won't, which means I am gonna freeze. Let me get this instantly. Okay, let's go for a freeze here. Let's see if he W's it. Ah, he W'd me instead of the cannon, actually. <laughs> I thought he'd try to CS the cannon with a W. So my position that would have actually reached, but nah. I thought the W would kill him easily. Okay. 
<clears throat> they will regret opposing the permafreeze has begun. <laughs> Let's get some vision out in this, out here. Exploit every weakness. <clears throat> Always kill the melees when doing freezes, because they're annoying to freeze with. Well, top side of the map is just locked down tight. Which is great. Wish we could say the same with bot side, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Hmm. I think we want to kill this set. If things go south, we also have Kindred ult. He's probably gonna leave. I'm gonna get a free turret. Oh, hit the hit the hit the hit the. <laughs> she should have jumped over and hit the plant. Yeah, where is she going? Can we just get this? Okay. The thing is, we kind of need the Kindred to have a lot of gold right now. She's a bit behind the Hecarim, and Kindred just kind of sucks when she's behind. Just doesn't do anything. No damage. No nothing. kind of what we're looking for to do. The set played it well, like credit where it credits do. <clears throat> but at some point, dude, just kind of did. That TP was pretty brief. Like, it was very clear that we were going to go for the turret there. We got a kill as well. Nice. Um, hmm. Quite a tough team. I'm going to go for a Triforce actually here, so I can try to one-shot them, perhaps. Obviously, because we run Triforce, we have to run Sterax too, because that sick combo is great. Hmm. Uh, I'd go for that mid wave there, but I know that it's just going to tilt the Casio. Stay alert. Maybe if I get the Syndra to knock me back, I can just flash on her. Freeze it like this. Strength above all. Let's see if we can catch this set here. I hope I don't have to waste my flash, but at least we can get his flash. Spicy Triforce damage. Spicy damage. We actually got the Herald crash into the turret, so it should take me like 2-3 seconds to actually get this. Well, literally 2-3 seconds, but like 5-10, right? I'll get it real quickly is what I mean. Come on. Nice. Let's pill for this jungle. Is it spawning? Oh, if Kindred has this. I don't want to take a remark. Yeah, the wolves are gone. I'll just grab the Grump instead. My idea was like, I'll take the camp, go mid, and just stop the stranger from getting on the mid turret. Because I'm assuming she'd be roaming with bot, right? But the bot fight was like, already messed up and won by us, so it didn't really matter, right, that flank. Because she'd just be mid anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Not good to take your junglers is a important things. Let's be quick, because I can 2v1, Hecarim and Set. 
I can even 3v1 Hecarim set Syndra. But if the Lulu is involved, that like the fight just becomes a bit more awkward. Oh no. Boots crank, boots crank, boots crank. She lives. I'm gonna take the whole thing actually. <laughs> Cassie is just watching back in horror as the set does his entire combo <laughs> and it deals 300 damage. <laughs> I mean, the Cassie. Oof. Okay. So, top side, keep this pushed in and try to secure this Herald with which we can actually bust down this whole two. Or just this turret. This is quite an important one, so it's good that we get it earlier on. Okay, so they got Syndra to match me here, which sucks. Because of our range, I can't farm her for kills. Like, she, she doesn't have to actually respect me as much as the set. Okay. Nice, we get it anyway. I'm not too happy about missing that hook on the Syndra though. <clears throat> okay, let's move forward to the third. Boot force this turret. Ho oh, ho, English. Let's go, Shelly! She just one shot that Cinder like that. No, they're actually in our base, so we're just gonna end the game here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back with some more gameplay. We are up against Trendemir. I am your worst nightmare. <laughs> That's exactly how he sounds, by the way. Anyway, um, let's just get right into Rev Nasus mid, which is going to be quite awkward to have on our team. He probably won't have too much prio, but I guess we do have a solid late game split pusher, right? Because he can kind of match Trendemir. If he gets enough CDR, he could just basically W the Trendemir on cooldown. I need to just be like, chasing after him, trying to kill him. Since he's low fury, it's not too risky to just harass him with auto attacks here and there. He got more auto attacks up than I should have let him, which sucks. I don't think I'll be able to get level 2 here. Yeah, he just gets it off of that. I wanted to control the wave from the beginning, but... Unfortunately, that's not in the cards. So we gotta basically wait until... Uh, level 3. Had to be real careful to not get another auto attack in there from him. We have longs are three pots, so he's gonna have really good sustain. He 
vehicle. Ooh, I gotta get down here. She's dead. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that was kind of grief. I honestly should have just ran out, but I wanted to get a kill on him. <sighs> yeah, that's so. It just made our lives a nightmare there. Viego was there too, wasn't he? So, like, <laughs> the whole situation was just completely messed up. I guess we'll have to learn to see the positives of Nasus mid. I don't think we'll see many. <laughs> Just a hunch. <laughs> uh, I might have to go some like troll mythic, like Frostbite Gauntlet. Because this streamer is just going to get out of control. Can't do much about it. Good hunch that that was not his idea because that kind of those kinds of bad ganks that are clearly not gonna work are like ones that junglers come up with honestly because <laughs> like the thing is right a jungler won't actually know too much about laning right so what happens is that if a jungler comes to gank and like the lane is a situation where that gank is just not gonna happen they won't really know that Okay, so you kind of have to try to ping them off of the wave. Like, hey, don't go for this. There are too many minions. But, yeah. Shouldn't he be back by now? Alright, well, I'm just going to freeze this until the end of time. Dude, where is he? <laughs> Where's the Trinomir? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind another 2 you on. Let's just put it that way. What the Trinity down there is going on me, get four stacks and then just E out. Instead of committing like that. Because that way, like, I don't get my Noxium Might. And also, like, Viego doesn't get blasted because I won't have Noxium Might to kill him, right? But when he uses E, like, just to go in, that just basically sealed his fate. Also, I mean, I guess he couldn't quite do that because I wasn't going to waste my hook in that fight until I was sure I could get two of them. Or at least like a solid Q out of it. I think that Trinomir is just straight up AFK at this point. <laughs> so yeah, it, it was the Viego's idea. <laughs> like, <laughs> he straight up just griefed him. Alright, cool. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I swear, most people who play this game just don't want to. <laughs> And they're just looking for excuses to like disconnect and do something else with their time. Well, our plan of going for the troll mythic is scrapped. We don't need to. I'm gonna go for stride here. It's better. Need more mobility, more move speed, etc. I mean, I guess there's no point in me freezing, actually. Like, freezing would be, like, the ultimate move if the Trinomir was still connected, right? Because, like, I could hold this freeze for, like, a solid 3-4 minutes, right? He needs help to break it. He can't break it on his own. Which basically means that, like, that's it. The game's over for him until the end of the match. But because he uh, is AFK... Slash permanently not a lane. It's better for me to just go for turret plates. Let's see here, put 
four down. Get the plate. I wonder where the Zoe is. Because if she was going to go bot, she should have been there by now already. So there's a good chance. Yeah, she's there. I was like, if she's not here by now, there's a good chance she's like coming top to stop me from getting this turret. But then that's like, like that was the exact second she showed up bot. Honestly, I don't want to speed up the death of this turret too much. On the one hand, gold is nice, but on the other hand, that turret is actively destroying allied minions for us. So that the enemy is not going to get them. This is like, you know, creating a massive gap between me and the enemy. There he is. I'm sorry, pal. One more. I'm sorry, pal. <laughs> I had to. I had to. <laughs> I feel so terrible. Like, it's not his fault that. I mean, it is his fault that he AFK'd, but the lane is messed up anyway, right? Like, it's not his fault that the lane just got into this bad of a position. And I hate that. Like, I hate to even think about what I'm going to do next, but basically, I'm just going to freeze it so that he doesn't get to farm anyone. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Um. Um. Oh, man. Oh, man. Getting into the Talia's, like, soul there was probably, like, a bit detrimental. Because the Viego is like tankier than Natalia. So all it did was just make it so that they killed him faster. Also, this is not gonna freeze, so I gotta crash it in. Okay, I think he's back to being AFK. <laughs> oh, he's just clearing jungle camps. Okay, fine. So we still have to guard dog this. This is so cruel, actually. All right, let's just keep pushing. Let's crash into T two. Leave no walls for them to hide behind. You could have walked away. Oh, that was so troll, actually. Ugh. He messed that flash up, but I grieved it for the kill so hard that I actually gave him that bounty. Oof. All right. We are... We were prey to our own hubris. Let's just put it that way. Shawbreaker is going to make this a bit of a better lane to play, though. They got a lot of magic damage, actually, so I have to go MR at some point. I want Sterax at this point. Too many stats to give up. But after we get Sterax, I'm gonna go full tank. The thing is, ever since they buffed Sterax, it gives like a lot more AD. Because it's just like, you know, um It's it doesn't seem that much AD extra, but it does make the difference, you know? KW? Just flash? Okay. 
She took my stride breaker, so I hope she doesn't outplay him with that. Oh, so he's completely you. <clears throat> he doesn't have W actually. Okay. She limit tested a bit too hard. Don't do it. You. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> he knew what's up. Uh, okay, I'm dead here. Ah, uh, no. Oh, no. I should have stayed in here to, like, get back and kill him. Uh, let's just try to take this one. Why is Heimer 9 1? Oh, my God. He only landed like one way, but that did like half his health each. Ah! Did, does it get into? <laughs> the Rylies! The Rylies! <laughs> I can't handle this. This is so like cheese and weird. Irregular. So I'm saying. That's just like. I know. Like, don't be going to my jungle, bro. He's gonna go. To, he's gonna go into the jungle anyway. Normally, I'd go chasing him, but at this point, I really don't care. I'm just gonna keep crashing this in. Just ping it. Like, hey, there's the thing. I don't think we're losing that much anyway, because their jungle is essentially our jungle at this point. Where Baldwin is concerned. Also, why that pop out? Is, is Zoe here? Zoe's here. This doesn't pop out unless Zoe's like around. That should be to death. Oh, GG. All right, that was pretty funny, but <laughs> not the most instructional match. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Okay, we are up against Set Top. He's Rock and Ignite, so we should be really careful in our fights so we don't get destroyed. Let's leash this guy a bit and leave. Let's keep the fighting down to a minimum. Earlier on, we don't want to eat a fully stacked W with an Ignite and insta lose the fight because that takes like, I was gonna say half, but more than half your health. Like just two of it together. He's just pushing hard. If I land that Q, it's a really good trade, but no. Okay. We can't walk up. He's got the... Pryo of the lane. No mistakes. Thought I walked out of it, but the camera angle kind of betrayed me. Nice, that Q is what we needed there to not be too behind, health-wise. Gotta focus up to be able to take most of the CSs. Not gonna lie, I kind of wanted to ghost up and kill him there. <laughs> or just fight him. Because he just uses the W right. I'll take that. It's one. 
Ah. Unlucky. Not sure why the set didn't flash out, but I thought... But I guess he was just being too, you know, prideful of his tankiness. Oh well. Um, let's get some stats in here. This is Ignite gone, it's the Ghost gone. What what happened here? Tuck, 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 tuck. They got a gank out and actually went two for two. We're even on kills, but obviously one of the ganks was a bit more uh, successful. All right, let's try to not die here. We got a bit more stats going though, so we should be okay. Nice. Ah, uh, if I land that E, I actually kill him there, but that was a really good movement from him. Actually, he actually just moved like right above me, so landing that E was tough. In any case, this pushes into me, so we're fine. Is it? It kind of is pushing, but it's like really just barely, right? Yeah, it's like those barely like uh, sort of pushing in existence. Right, we got your first. Curse, yes. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Flash gun finally. This is not a good position. He could just kill me instantly. Can I have to kite him until I get my E. Hecarim? Seriously, man? Ugh. He actually just snuck up in there and waited. Oh, that's so disgusting. Quite gross, quite gross. Oh well, he actually went for Executioner's Calling first item, which is a little crazy, because I don't even heal that much. But okay, buddy. Shen mid ain't going too well for us. Hecarim got the kill again, but that kind of sucks because now he's kind of fed <laughs> off of me. Above all. Okay, let's try to play it carefully. And he just wipes out our bot lane. Seriously? He actually just straight up one tap me without even using his W. It's because I basically tanked all the auto attacks, right? Yeah. I should have used my ghost earlier to kite him in and out instead of just eating all his auto attacks. Uh, I doubt he actually kills him here. Not strong at all. Also, where's his ultimate? If he had his ult, he maybe just ults back on him and just straight kills him. This is such a gross match. Like, what is happening? Okay, um, this river quote unquote fight's gonna be a bit of a disaster. I have my orders. Yeah, it's like. <sighs> I hate this so much. There we go. Good. Because if they fought it, 
Like, maybe we win because the Nautilus is here, but <laughs> it's just unlikely for us to come out on top. That W was down, like <laughs> he just signed his death certificate. <laughs> he finally uses his ultimate <laughs> and dies instantly. <laughs> what is this like shed mid tactic? Oh, he gets a kill, okay, that's worth. Never mind, never mind. Okay, Callista. Never mind. Oh my god. And on he lives. Ah, I can't with this match. I can't. Ah. Ah. Alright, um. What am, I, what am I even doing, man? I guess we kind of want Triforce to get some damage. This is such a shockingly gross match. Like usually when you play a match, you're like, and you're like fighting and stuff. It feels kind of fun. Before the truth that this is League of Legends dawns on you, and you win or lose, since you know, like you have nothing to do with whether you win or lose because you're a top laner. But this match is like not even the fighting part is fun. It just sucks because of how like weird it is. <laughs> Nautilus has got my back. You can order it. Nice. I think still heals, right? No, it doesn't. I, oh man, they actually removed that. <clears throat> okay, let's get some more stats going. Hearthbound axe. For what? Okay, I guess we're going for this. You thought we were going to take this turret gold alone? Bro, this is my turret. Want to get gold? I'll let you get some kills in a gank. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nolans couldn't catch that. Oh. Ah! Yo, yo, yo. Oh, my God. I destroy that guy. The Shen, like attack block thing it blocked practically all the damage and then they just bap stun him he even went back for more he's like huh do you get the kill Shh. man <laughs> uh, <laughs> despite the fact that we're getting kills now i still dislike having like dislike participating in this match sup bro how you doing? How you doing? My name is Roku. That was not wise. Does she have ghost? Okay. At least we got the ult out too. Yo, 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 activate your thing! I am not working with this guy. I am not working with it. Because I would have killed that Hecarim by myself. Right? Cannot be trusted. We kind of popped off there, though, right? Kind of popped off. Kill the set. Kill the Hecarim. That's me emulating the Darius old sounds with the skin. 
Try to kill the Nami? Nah. Too slippery. Slippery fish. Um, where's the set, boyo? He's probably just waiting in base for, like, pork. I just can't think of any reason why he wouldn't be on the map already. Or maybe he's, like, killing a camp for Bork and then recalling. Lots of possibilities. Oh, there he is. Big boy. It's the same matching me. I'm free to take this turret. Yeah, they're right. Okay. Never retreat. Uh, can't the Shen do it? Like... What else does he have to do except, like, sup, bro? Don't worry, don't worry. I'm leaving you in peace to do this blue buff. Like, obviously I can one-combo him right there, but their balling is, like, about to descend upon me. Not quite close to catching these guys. The thing is, I can't actually fight the Ari because of how mobile she is. Just I'm never gonna kill her. So if I if I get into a two v one, and Ari's one of them, the other one has to be someone who actually gets in my range, or somebody who's like like a Nami, like squishy enough and immobile enough to open where I can just like run up on her and kill her. Because otherwise, it's just a disaster. Uh, let's see if I can go for a flank. If the Nolus has his ult up, he can engage and I can just get some get some work done. Okay. Almost. Maybe I should use my W instead. I should use my W instead. I would have just killed him. Ah! Ah! Bro, that was a quadri kill that I messed up. Does she get bodied there? Oh man, I messed up a quadri kill there. Oh man, that was so bad for me. Ugh, like that surprise. Bah -bah. Sort of one shot against the Ari was quite good, but man, that Nami thing, I thought I was dead there anyway, right? I was gonna go for like, all right, if I have time, I'll go for an ROW, but I did have time for a W. Uh, oh man. What did I even go here? Um, first of all, let's get some more, right? Let's get that out of the way. It's mandatory. Second off, I think we need some movement. The thing is, I could go for Death Stance, but I think that nowadays, with how much AD you get from Sterex, Death Stance is a little overrated on Darius. So you're good to go just try for a Sterex and have enough damage for the whole game. What's more important is meat. Beef. Nope. No. No. If that Nautilus picked that fight while I was still there, that would have gone differently. Okay, that's one. That's that's not two? Are you kidding me? Can you stun someone? Oh my god. This guy's cheeks, man. Bro, I can't do anything. I'm like, a week, a week. Dude, 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 dude. We're both like in range to be killed by one REQ. So let's just relax. 
Man, I, I was salivating at that illusion ult. Just like, I could, I could taste it, but nah. Oh well. I'm gonna go DMP after this, so I can, uh, you know, move around fast. I'm Barry Allen. Doesn't matter life. You ain't reaching this, bro. You ain't reaching this. I'm too fast for you. Man, if Echo gets his like. He had to ult that. Alright, if Echo died there, I would have had to like disown him as a jungler. Like, that's not my jungler. <laughs> like, there's no way you lose that set. Like, jeez. Like, after top lane, the guy has like Vietnam tier flashbacks and the boy goes and dies to him. It's like, no. It's like, dude, you can't die to him. Um, could you not drag that to the end of the earth? Callista splitting, so that's good enough. But can she take on this hinting set? Oh, all right, I'm, I'm all, all. Okay, can you get it there? Oh, no. All right, all right, we got in here in time. We got in here on time. Nice, nice, all right. I should just W there. Now, honestly, this game, my Triforce auto attacks have done more than my ultimate. <laughs> let's, 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 let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. Um, I'll record an extra post game section. We'll see how much two damage I have and how much Travis damage I have. See if uh, see if it stacks up. I want a bit more gold. I gotta recall on DMP. The Ari kill would have given me enough, but uh. All right, let's get out of here and get some dead man's plate. Um, aside from this, what am I even lacking? Nothing really. I'm just too powerful to ever be taken down by their team. I'm gonna get that cloak. Um, and then I might even just build Death Stance because I'm all fed I am right now. Like I know I kind of slagged it off a bit, but like at this point, it's just I'm killing everyone. They're never gonna put me down, so I might as well just go all out, all out you know. All out. Look at that Sterex AD. Mm. Delicious. Like, it scales with you, right? And this gives you a lot of damage, too. Don't worry, man, I'm fast, I'm fast, I'm fast. Ooh, let's get in here, let's get in here, let's get in here. Ugh. Let's -a go! Let's -a go! Luigi! Come here, bitch! Get the f out of my sight! <laughs> I got a sensor. <laughs> Let me write that down somewhere so that I don't forget it in the uh, editing table. Do I even have a pen on my desk? Nope. I do. Yes. Um. Let's just move to the dragon, I guess. Y'all know how it is on that YouTube grind set, right? I am not including swears on a video. Susan, please. Please. Make 
Okay. They want some? They want some, is my question. I think the set wants some. Yo, bro. I'm too fast. Too quick on my feet. Oh. Alright. 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 Um. I deserve that. I completely deserve that. Wait, why did the Shen not ult me? That's my question. It was probably not. Yeah, we just, we just got destroyed. Oh my god. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Um, we had our fun. Now I'm gonna play like a human. So that we do not lose this game. Um... I think the priority definitely right now is to just get level 16. Oof, he just got bodied, man. Ugh. All right, the priority right now is for me to wait until I got my sums to fight, and then also get level 16, okay? I'm gonna run to our jungle right here. The set's gonna probably do these camps, so I should be able to catch him at the grump. I will not rest. Let's get that dead man's plate moves speed to work. Or put, put it to work, I guess. There it is. Um, there are wolves left. I wasn't pinging the necessity for a ward, but uh, we didn't need to put that camp down. All right, we messed up that CS, but we got lower 16, so that's good. Lever. Level. No reason to recall yet. I have my Let's get a ward out here. Seriously? Ah, uh, yeah, that was just bad. Dude, they have everything warded. And it works out in our favor in the end, because they get them both. Like, it works out as an engage, but I did not think that they had that warded. It doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, <laughs> Echo's time to shine, I guess. I mean, all they gotta do is go with this wave and end the game, and that's pretty much it for this match. All right, how much did we do? 2.5k. Yeah, I definitely had less ult damage than that for this game, then. All right, that's pretty much it for the match, but we gotta check out this quick new post-game recording. So we got 2.5k, let's just put a chunk it up at 2.6k. Also, I got my cam. <laughs> I never had anything out. I never have my cam on these videos, but okay. Um, True damage. Can I get the stats? Yeah, yeah. So we got, okay, we did do like a, like a bit more true damage then. All right, all right. So I was wrong. Anyway, let's get some like peace out. All right, everybody, it's Miracle back with some more gameplay. We are up against Shen Top, and we unfortunately have Lunar Beast equipped. Ah! Ah! Those are my internal screams, but because it's later in the day, I can't actually scream. Um, yeah. <laughs> At least we had one. Oh, that, that, that's a groovy song. Ooh. I actually like that. That new, new dance song is actually so groovy. Ooh. Anyway, um. I played one game with the skin at least, so we're kind of used to it, right? Kind of used to the terribleness of it. I swear that Nunu mechanic where he gives attack speed to, like, the person next to him only comes into play when, when you have to, like, leash him. Nice Nunu. Goes for flash, and we also get most of his health, so that's pretty, pretty good. I gotta be careful though, because he gets a level two here. Uh, 
All right, good. I was gonna auto there, but I didn't want the minions to aggro on me and then the wave to start pushing in his direction. I cannot wait till I have my hook. Then this guy is dead with a capital D. Um, can't get that, buddy. Nice try. And we also get a crash. Mwah. This is pretty nicely done. When Shed doesn't take Ignite level 1, you can just basically rule over the lane. That's the thing with Shen, it's like, level 1 his autos are strong and all, but... Like, the early levels are literally the only chance he has to, like, get any prior over the lane. If he can't win the lane pre-6, he usually just straight loses, because... His ultimate doesn't help him 1v1s at all. And even in some cases, like... You know, even if he does get a few kills pre-6, he still dies post-6. But in this case, we just won from the get-go. So the game's going to be quite rough for him. But then again, he's playing Shen, so he technically doesn't have to do anything. Dude, these guys are... These guys are getting some meat. He's going to slap a meat. Kill her! Nice. The gold goes to our ADC. I didn't get that CS. I had to do it to him. I had to be merciless there. Okay. It's Andrew Tate! Oh no! I'll buy your Hustlers University! I'll, I'll, part, I'll shout out your Hustler University. Let me live. <laughs> Guys, it's the real Andrew Tate. He plays League of Legends. Oh my god. <laughs> What's that thing he sells? Hustler's University, right? <laughs> Alright. He's about to ask me what color my Lambo is next. Oh. Well, on the bright-ish side, the Shen got nothing there. So, um, if he gets in melee range, I should have just killed him again. Or just right now. That might have been a bit too greedy of me. Seriously? Oh. That gank wasn't going to work out anyway, but man, this fiddle's just... Uh, playing topside now, which is very, very fun to deal with, of course. Ugh, this is going to be disgusting to play. Yeah, I'll just try to play around the fiddle. <clears throat> I guess we're getting weak-sided here. Because all fiddle is done is gank top, but... After they get six on little Shen, it's gonna be pretty bad for our team. Because then they can just f essentially just five man bot side of the map. Hope you have a counter for that. Also, me going for that kill instantly like that, just as, as soon as I saw him, was pretty insane. I, what, I, what I should have done is actually go around, because even though I'd lose a bit more CS, I would just, I would like, be guaranteed to get a better flank off, and I'd actually get my hands on him before he could get into a range where the fiddle could kill me. Oh, he actually died there, so that sucks. <clears throat> Ah, 
Ah, uh, that that auto block came just in time for him. I'm tilted actually. <laughs> Couldn't get any of those CSs. Does Galio get the soul kill? Oh my god, I feel like she got him. That actually lives? I am fuming. Okay. Things aren't going our way, obviously. So I got a mental reset. I'm just gonna blame the skin and chill. Reset. I am Zen. Couldn't catch up to him. Man, and he dies. Ugh. I don't think it'd make a difference if I was there because the Morgana came too. So it's just like an outnumbered kind of situation. Yeah, Fiddle is getting really strong. This game is going to be quite tough to play. I might have to just go for Merc Treads and hope that their AD damage isn't too high. Okay, Shanty Bees. Yes. I got a lot of gold in the tank that I gotta spend. Though Loki, I wanna actually stay until I can finish the Triforce and maybe even Merc Treads in one go. How much gold would that be? That'd be 3k? Yeah, that would be just stupid. I'll just finish <laughs> Triforce. Spot. They will regret opposing me. Uh, yeah, we completely just got trashed there. Am I trolling now? Let's crash this in. Recall. I'm gonna just sell my D blade for the Triforce. <clears throat> the thing is, right, like at this point, I'm actually noticing that, like, how weak I am. Because if I went shop and got, like, stats once in that encounter, what I just did there would be a kill, right? So that's why it's like, all right, let's pack it up, recall, get our Triforce, and then play the game like a normal human being. Man, it just sucks so hard that the fiddle is not taking over the whole game. I guess it's kind of our bad, because we died to him twice in a row. But man... That first skill was just kind of brutal by him, though. Couldn't do nothing about it. You can actually get a kill here. I had to flash in there. I don't think it was necessary though. It wasn't necessary, but... Because if we notice, the Shin came off the ult, like... Before I hooked him.
Get that bleed tick reset, boy. Oof. Like, the idea of me flashing to cancel this ult was like, like, it was a decent idea in theory, right? Had to cancel no matter what. Because we had a chance of. Okay, I'm out. Get it on my face. Jace players. You get away from me! You, you, get away! You! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Um, I still want Merc Treads, but I'll, I'll get like a Cloth Armor just in case. Okay, let's go for Sterax as usual. <clears throat> I actually showed up at the right time to get some plate gold. <clears throat> I'm assuming Shen's back. Seriously? I hate fiddle. I hate. I just hate. Like, you know what I like about this game? Like, the fact that in the middle of the combat, once the fight starts, there are things you can do to outplay someone, right? Things you can do. That's why whenever somebody outplays me, it's like I get less mad and more just wow. That guy just like did that because that's like the fun part of the game for me. But against fiddle, man, it's like. He gets that ult on you, there is nothing to fight. It's just, alright, I guess I die. Or if he's, like, if it's a battle, it's like, okay, he's dead. You know? It's the kind of thing where it's like... There is no... The middle of the fight kind of... Smart spell usage or outplaying. It's just... You either win the fight or you lose the fight. I, I hate that kind of binary gameplay in the game. Same with, like... Like, Irelia. She lands E, wins. L misses E, loses. Same with the Lowey. Lands E, wins, misses E, loses. It's like, I like more dynamic gameplay, you know? It changes up, different every time. But I guess I'm playing the wrong game if I want the kind of stuff. I read you like a book, bro. What a nice novel. Called Shen. I'm about to get filled with the gun, aren't I? <clears throat> Bruh. It's actually him. Nope. I thought when I warded it that, like, Kill the fake ward or whatever it's called. But no, it's still there. I miss that W, man. Kind of do want him to teleport so I can take his turret. But the thing is, with how this is going, I'll get it anyway. You guys like that trick? <laughs> Usually it's hook to kill the enemy, but I hook to RW, finish off the turret. Let's get this camp, boy. Good. Get my face. Let's get this one too. Want mana before I get down there, so I'm gonna hit up this uh, plant. Let's do this. If they can like set up some kills for me, I can get like I can pop off quite hard. These two. 
surely between them two they got some good setup, right? Surely two cast champions can catch one character for me, right? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Um... I was kind of half expecting our main DPS to be in that one, but it's all right. I got a bunch of gold there. Got the Jace Bounty. Got another kill in the Shen, too. So overall, it's not the worst usage of my life and my sums. We get a bunch of gold for ourselves, but it's like such a muddy and messed up fight, you know? It's not clean. Not a clean win for us. Also, I kind of misused my ultimate on the, on the Jace there, but the... That was mostly because of the flash Q, right? I messed up the flash Q, so I couldn't get that. Knocks me my kill, but you could argue that the only reason I flash Q'd so early was because I wanted to get that, um... Didn't want to run out of Nox, you might. <coughs> I think that's the one situation where flashing early, because the thing is that there's when you flash Q, you flash during the later portion of the Q as it's about to hit. But that's one situation where I, I should have flashed, like, just as soon as I started to Q, so that I could get use out of my Nimbus Cloak Moon speed, you know? We're chillin', 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 we're <clears throat> okay, I guess we just gotta chill until we get our sums back up. So that this match of League of Legends is playable again. Hey, scared. Does he want shot the chase here? Nice. It's good that he didn't go for it and get killed. Cause that's exactly what would happen. Let's try to mess with the Shen here. I can't get mid lane, but I can get to the Shen so he doesn't TP too comfortably. Okay. They backed up to here, so I have to leave. <clears throat> Oh, I should have seen that coming. Uh, and they all collapse on me. Ugh, so gross. <sighs> Let's get the sweeper out. Hmm. On the bright side, they can't do the Baron too comfortably because we just get in hib. They commit everyone there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going crazy this game. Full damage. Don't care. Oh! Surprise! And yeah, this is low-key all my bad. Like, for getting picked there. I low-key had an idea what could be coming, but I just hesitated, you know? Well, they saved this thresh there which is impressive if I'm being honest like I don't want to mask that int by me up as a good play but we did get mid inhib while the Baron is up so it's like eh, it's not all bad can I get some help here because they're doing Baron and I can't stop it Oh my god! Like... I had to die for that. 
Like, as much as I'd love to go for on some dunking spree, it's like I have to stop that somehow. <laughs> like the last death was an int. This one was a bit of a sacrifice. Let's call it. Because the thing is, right, they were already they were already on the Baron for a while. It was already like I think half health or so, but I don't know because I couldn't get a good look. So it's like, yeah, it was definitely low HP because Kaisa was on it for a while. And Kaisa is one of those champs that just destroys Baron. So it was very likely like, like very low levels of health. Like half health or so. So if I just leave and stay, like if I just wait, they definitely get the Baron. Now it's de debatable because like after they get it, we could also just have wiped them out. Complete team wipe. Because, you know, they'd be stuck in Baron pit, but... I'd say it's better to just not give them Baron to begin with. Yeah, let's uh, drag this one out. Oof. My man's got stunned until the end of time and history. He's just gonna ult over this. Oof, never mind. Can you guys just do that? We gotta tank those, we gotta tank those. I'm trying to get an ult reset off and uh... What? Yeah, I'm not going first bro. I grabbed her out of invisibility. Hey, bro. Might be invisible to eyes, but not this hook vision. Kachunk. By the way, the indicator on the ground for this skin is actually inaccurate. <laughs> like, it's larger than it actually is. Alright, let's just get out of here. Where did my ult go? Let's just end the game, honestly. On a slay, let's just end the game. Alright, this was a pretty fun match, but a really messed up match still. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.